All right, guys, it's Pastor Tim. Thank you for joining me tonight for 7 on the 7. It is our nightly time of encouragement in God's Word and a nightly reminder that we love you. We are praying for you. We miss seeing you in person. We love our community, and we can't wait for the time that we get back together. Until then, we'll be here every night for 7 minutes of encouragement. I'm Pastor Tim, lead pastor at City Church of the Treasure Coast here in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. And today we want to look again at John chapter 16. Now, we've been reading verse 33, but look at verse 31. You believe at last, Jesus answered, but a time is coming and has come when you will be scattered each to his own home. You will leave me all alone, yet I am not alone for my Father is with me. Verse 33, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And so aren't you thankful today that whatever physical challenge you're facing, whatever medical challenge you're facing, whatever financial challenge you are being onslaughted with, he has overcome. Jesus has overcome. He is the overcomer and we overcame because he has overcame. And so today I want to share with you further in the story of Elijah and the great drought. Now, last time I was with you, we talked about the brook and the ravens, a natural provision source and a supernatural provision source for the people of God that had turned away from God as their source. Now, I know the names of the ravens. I know what two of those ravens' names were. I have to tell you today. One of them's name was Jimmy, and one of them's name was John, because it was Jimmy John's that was bringing basically a sandwich to Elijah every day. So the brook was there. The brook already existed. It was a natural solution. But birds do not naturally deliver food to people. Although we could use it nowadays, right? There's everybody's delivering food today and we all need it. But I'll get back to exactly how we know about Jimmy and John. But I want you to see this. There was a natural source. There was a supernatural source. But there was really only one source. God was the source. Now, the brook, the natural, and the birds, the supernatural, were both from God. And here's what I want you to understand. Your system will change in life. How you get your provision will change. There will be days of natural provision. And there will be days of supernatural provision. Your blessing, your money, the resources you get, your food and your water. They will come from a lot of different sources. But God is the source. God is the source. And so how do we overcome during these trying times? I overcome by trusting the source, God, not the system, man. I overcome by trusting the source, God, not the system, man. At the end of all of this, God is the one that's going to pull us out. Not our government, not our plan, uh, not a delivery of food system. God is the one that's going to pull us out. Psalm 910 says, those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. I overcome by trusting God. Because God is my source. And I have heard people already during this time, and I have felt this in moments during this time of great peril in our world and in our country. Here's what I have heard. I cannot, Pastor Tim. I cannot. I give up. I can't, I can't go on any trips anymore. I can't be with my family anymore. I can't make ends meet. We're confused. Uh, some people think, what's going to happen? Am I going to get a check in the mail? Am I not? What's going to happen with my social security? Look, all those things, friends, are systems. They're all systems. God is your source. And we overcome by trusting the source, God, not the system. And so this system and God's supernatural source just happened to be in the desert. 1 Kings 17, 5. So Elijah did what the Lord had told him. He went to Kareth Ravine, east of the Jordan, and stayed there. The ravens brought him bread and meat. I told you I was going to tell you. I knew it was Jimmy John. Bread and meat. That's a sandwich. That's a sandwich. And so, yeah, I'm joking with you a little bit. But you, those of you that know my sense of humor know where I'm at here. And uh, I think it was, you know, it was, it was not wicked fast. It was holy fast that it came in. And so 
in the morning and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. Now, get this. Elijah had to go to a new place, a separate place, all alone from everyone, an isolated place. Elijah had to go to that place of isolation and the desert to go to where the provision was going to flow from. Did you hear me, guys? This is exactly what we're walking through today. I'm going to talk to you more about it the next time we get together. But listen, I overcome by trusting the source, not the system. And sometimes the source that God has for us just happens to be in a place of isolation, in a place of great heat, in a place that we would not normally want to go, and in a place that a lot of people were not present. And that's where we're at today, a place of isolation where I believe God's provision, God being the source, is going to deliver us and is going to overcome the enemy and we will come out stronger, we will come out more faith-filled, we will come out with more leadership and more of an ability to do what? To save lives. Genesis 50, 20 tells us that the good, read about it, it's the story of Joseph. You meant this for bad, but God meant it for good, the saving of many lives. Can I pray with you today? Whatever request you have on your heart, lift it up with me. I believe we can connect right over these live stream platforms tonight, whether you're at Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. And I believe that God will meet us right where we're at in this place of isolation. Let's pray together. Lord, I pray right now for every need, for every request, for every hurt, God, for every sickness, uh, for every trial that's being lifted up, God. I pray for the forgiveness of sins and the repentance of men and women and children to run back to you with everything in their hearts, God. And I pray, Lord, that you'd meet us right where we're at as you brought us to this place. Of, of a desert, of isolation, of, of quarantine, of being alone, that we're not alone. You never leave us or forsake us. And in this moment, God, as we stretch out our hands and lift up our prayers, that you would rush in and touch us in a powerful, real way in this moment. Church, lift it up. Uh, if you're just tuning in for the first time, you don't know what church is, lift up that request. Cry out to God. He hears you in this moment. He loves you. And Lord, as you hear those cries that we're lifting up, God, for so many needs, we acknowledge tonight you are our source. Our system may change, but you are the source. So we acknowledge you as God. We give you all praise, all glory, and all honor. And we believe, Lord, that you are good and your love endures forever. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you tonight for joining us for 7 on the 7. Hey, go to citychurchtreasurecoast.com. Leave me an email. Uh, give us some financial support as we all go through this hardship and we're continuing to feed families and make a difference in our community. Uh, come and see us in person when we overcome this. And through Christ Jesus, we will overcome. We love you. We are looking out for you. And God loves you more than we can even ask or imagine. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow night here at 7 on the 7th.